G'day everyone, Master Rabbit here from CapsuleComputers.com Today um, what we're going to be doing is showing you a few little tricks um, and a couple of achievements to pick up from Call of Duty Black Ops. These are some of the tricky ones that a lot of people don't know how to get and we're going to walk you through on how to get them. So uh, from the start menu you press the start button that'll take you into... Ooh, settle down mate. Alright, so once we're here basically in the main menu, um, what you got to do is pretty much do a special button combination. Now let me just bring out the controller, as you can see the controller's in my hand right now, it's a bit dark. As you can see you've got the triggers here, left and right. Now what I'll do is I'll basically do, do it in front of you so you can see. But pretty much alternate, alright, so pretty much go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and there you have it, you just got up. It's got to pick up an achievement just there. Just ask me nicely, as you can see right there in the corner. And that pretty much opens up, um, well, that unlocks one achievement, as you know. Now, the other one is pretty much, okay, see how you can walk around now? You can do anything you like inside this little area. As you know, you've got those guys up there watching you from the game. Can't see him there, he's looking at you, I don't know who he is. Uh, so yeah, you can walk around, you can have a look in here, you can see what, you know, the computer systems and everything, that they're, they're taking you down and giving you asking you questions and recording everything that you're doing. Um, but if you can walk around here to this little area here in the corner, there's a little computer. Look how cute it looks. There it is there. Now, if you press the X button and hold it down, it will take you into a text-based type of... Um, command system. So as you can see you got like a you got the uh, text pad up there. If you have your text pad, if you have like your you know your Xbox text um, pad that you can you, you can connect to your controller, it's probably much easier to, to do it that way. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Now what you can do you you've got to do a few little extras here on the side to get what you're supposed to get. So if you like starting off just press help just type in help if you like. H E L P down the bottom as you can see. Pressing enter. Now it opens up a couple of little questions in there. You've got like cat, CD, clear, DAR, decode, encode, exit, help, login, mail. It's a little bit tricky. But what you've got to do is three things. The first one is type in the following. Z O R K. Now for anyone who has been, who's older than, probably as old as me or as old, older than Master Rabbit, um, you'd, you'd remember this game called Zork. So if we just type in Zork, press enter, it unlocks another achievement. And that is Eaten by the Gru. Now, as anyone who would probably remember playing Zork in, their old, in the olden times, it is, Zork is in a text-based adventure game, as you can see down there. I'll zoom it in a little bit so you can see the text. Um, basically a text-based adventure game. Now this is before our, a lot of people's time. As you know it was made in 1981 from Infocom. So pretty much this is a full-on text-based adventure game even before the time of Leisure Suit Larry. Um, so pretty much here everything you gotta do is all text-based. You gotta type what you wanna type to uh, do stuff. So for example uh, we're standing, um, we're standing uh, in an open field west of a White House with boarded front door. Uh, there's a small mailbox there. So if we look again, we can press look and it basically tells you the same thing. So basically this works as a full-on adventure game, but everything you do you have to type to get to. So for example, there's a small mailbox there. Let's say for example, open mailbox. Open mailbox. Press enter. And you open the mailbox to reveal a leaflet. So I bet we get the leaflet. Get Leaflet. L E A F L E T. Enter. And it's taken. So, pretty much, this is how you'll be playing this game. It's not too exciting, man. I know it's not Call of Duty for sure, but it's something that, you know, you could enjoy on the side if you really wanted to play. If you, if, you, in, um, if you were a fan of Zork, this is something that you'd really want to do. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out of this. I'll press exit. And it takes us back out, okay? So, now, if we press the X button again, takes us back in. Now, uh, what I, oh, hang on, what, let me see if I can get out of here. Type in exit. Oops, can't do that now. Uh, back out. Back in again. Alright, 
Now let's see if we can do the other thing. The other one is basically uh, another achievement or another extra um, thing you can do. And that, let's see if I can type it in right now while we're playing Zork. That's D O A. Enter. Won't work from here. Let me see what we can do. We're going to have to get out of uh, Zork somehow. If we get out of Zork, let's say for example, jump out, press X. Let's get back out. Let's go sit back down. See if it resets. It's going to reset. So well, we'll jump back in. Left, right, left, right, left, right. I'm working for myself, mate. Alright, so we get back up. Let's go back to the computer. Sit back down. Press X. Alright, we're back at the normal level again. Alright, so. Password. Let's type in the next one. Capital D. O. A. Enter. How cool is this? Alright, so this is the next one. This is Dead Ops Arcade. Now this is, uh, this one looks pretty cool. Alright, so... I'll play a little bit. Alright, let me see what we can do here. What happened? There we go, I got a new one. Insert coin. There's an achievement that pops up straight there. Once you start playing, so this is the top, top. All right, so this is basically like a top uh, shooter, top-down shooter. So the zombies come at you from all over the place, pick up weapons, take down zombies, destroy them. So you got like a cheat. You got like um, it's like a commando fun. All righty, so picking up those. And we walk through there and, um... Alright, so we're going through to the next mission. So pretty much, this is a fun, and this is really, really fun. So if you, if you enjoy, um... Enjoy your top-down, top-downs. Top-down shooters, this is something, a little break from the, uh... First-person shooter that you've got. And as you know, this, this game could, this game could be, if you think about it, could have been released as a, um... An arcade title, but come for free so that's pretty cool if you think about it all right so that's pretty much that one this is a, this is very, this is fun to tell you the truth you can get a lot you can have a lot of fun doing this all right so level two is clear so pretty much every level you just got to clear the the amount of zombies that come up on the screen and once you've done that you can move on to the next stage so that's pretty much it so for example I want to go in there I will but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna jump back out as you can see it looks really cool all right so we're gonna jump back out press the start and quit are you sure yes I want to quit and that'll take us back out to the front now I know that's gonna reset so just bear with us we'll get to the main menu again not too long once we're back at the main menu I'll give you one more little thing to do alright so back again alright now the next one is pretty much uh, an unlock for uh, the, the zombies um, map so if you go in here say for example go into solo at the moment see how we've already unlocked dead uh, dead ops arcade which you've seen we just uh, went through then you got the the kino de totem now uh, there's one missing so uh, without having to go through and do the whole things on your own what you can do is you can do them um, just by typing in a special code so once again left right 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 Oh, hang on a minute, I've got to be back at the main menu. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Back down, left, right, left, right, left, right. And he opens it up. Cool, as you can see, he's now walking around freely. Alright, back here again. Alright, pressing X. Okay, now what you've got to type in is the, the number 3. Capital A, R, C, space. U, N, L, O C K. So it's three arc unlock. Pressing enter. Pressing enter, sorry. Cheat has been enabled, as you can see down there. Okay, cheat has been enabled. Alright, so once that's done, you can walk back to your chair. And up we get back to the chair sit back down and we'll take you into the menu again 
zombies go to solo for example and then we have five so the Pentagon is under attack, Washington is going to DEFCON 1 and this installment of zombies. So pretty much you don't have to finish anything to get it, you just have to type it in and you have, you've unlocked it. So that's pretty much it ladies and gentlemen, that's the three major or pretty much secrets that you got to pick up um, from the main menu area. So the first one was Zork, Z-O-R-K, the second one was D-O-A, Dead Ops Arcade, and the last one was 3 Arc. so that's 3, the number 3, A-R-C, Unlock, U-N-L-O-C-K, and that's pretty much it ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions, leave them um, on the blog, or leave them on the website, or on the YouTube page. Thank you for watching, Master Abbott, signing out from CapsuleComputers.com.